Hello, my comic book loving sons of bitches and wonder women that might be watching. Welcome to the 25th and 26th comic book hauls of 2019. These are from week 3 and 4 of June. These are the last ones of June. I originally was going to just do a solo video for haul number 25. But something happened with the recording, it didn't come out right, so I said, all right, well, you know, I'll just wait for the 26th and we'll show them together. So, yes, this is going to be another long one because there are a lot of comic books to show you guys, but let's go. we can do this, we can do this. And of course, like I always say, you're welcome to watch this in parts, you can just watch half of it now, half later, but hopefully you do see the whole thing. Alright guys, so of course, big shout out to Undercity Comics in Whittier, California. They are just fantastic. And uh, I also want to say, Happy 4th of July to all my fellow Americans. Uh, this video should be uploaded by then. And of course, Happy Canada Day, because I know that that's somewhere around the area. I don't know, I don't know when Canada Day is, but I heard people talking about it. And just happy, happy all all around the world, let's just be happy, yay, 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 I know stuff's kind of messed up here and there, but you know what, it's cool. Comic books, on the other hand, are thriving, so let's show you guys what we got. So, we're going to start out with week 25, uh, this is from, yeah, this is from, uh, yeah, week, week 3, duh. Jesus, brain fart. Wow. Wow, Christopher Walken. Alright, so let me show you what my sister got. Then I'll show you what I got. And uh, I don't have any of these in any particular order because I haven't taken any pictures of them. So I'm just going to show you as is. And we start out big with the, I guess it's highly anticipated, I'm not entirely sure. Superman Year One from Frank Miller and Joe. Renata Jr. We have number one right there. That is awesome. Extra sized. Dragon Gordon. Wonderful. We do have this cover and we did get the. Oh, damn. We did get the variant as well, which I think is really cool. Frank Miller doing a Superman uh, book. I'm pretty excited for this. I, I do want to read this one for sure. Alright. My sister then gets the outside down, right? The outside down. Weird. That doesn't really matter. Oh well. Ah! Got it. Uh, she then has number three of Mary Shelley's Mouse. No, Mouse. <laughs> that would be funny if Mary Shelley <laughs> wrote a, a, a mouse story. But no, this is Monster Hunter, number three. Nice little bloody kisses there. That's sweet. She has number number five of the amazing Nightcrawler. We are gonna try to speed through these because there are a lot to show. There's number five of Wolverine Infinity Watch. Okay, cool. Number twenty of the Uncanny X Men. I'm trying to avoid the glare as much as possible. We have number nine of Shuri. Sh Shuri, Shuri, ah, I can never say it. And to be honest, I have no idea what my sister got uh, last week. I, I didn't even look at what she got. I, hadn't, I have not taken pictures of these yet, and I haven't even seen what she has, so these are kind of new to me. We then had number 26 of Justice League. That's that's a really cool cover. Damn, that's 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 really cool. And uh, ooh, that's sweet as well. Uh, we got a really sweet variant. It looks like it's connected to another comic. I'm not entirely sure. I'll have to look into that. She then has what? Number four of Gretel. She's got three copies, so we have this one right here. That's pretty badass. This this looks cool. I swear, Zenoscope has some really interesting looking comics. And this one right here. So, 
I also apologize once again for the inconsistency of the frames. Uh, I got a lot of light coming from this side and not enough light from this side. But I don't want to turn that light on because it's a little it's a little warm even though I have the AC on. Don't want to put it on. Uh, then we have number nine of Lucifer. That's a little hard to see. There you go. All right. So that is her staff from that particular um, week, the third week of September. I just got to take pictures of these and had a chance. Trying to get my, my comic book life in order. It's more challenging than it sounds. Alright. Apparently my stack was a little bigger than hers that week. So, this is my stack from week number three. We have... Oh, I did get the variant. Sweet. Alright, so we have number five of Hiko. Uh, this is her in Hong Kong. Oh, okay. Part one of four. Her in Hong Kong. Sweet. And, uh, I really do enjoy the variants, so I always try to get the variants. They, they always pull me cover A, but I always look for cover B if they have it. If they don't have it, I'm stressed out about it. It's just like, if it's there, I'll get it. It's not no big deal. We then have number eight of the warning. I'm really glad that this comic is still running. I've only read issue number one. To remind you guys, I don't really read as much as I should. In fact, I haven't really read anything in quite some time. I've uh, just been busy with my streaming and other things. So, uh, but, yeah. I have been reading here and there, but not, not a whole lot. All right, we have number 73. To save his son, Thomas Wayne will do the unthinkable. Oh, okay. So we have number 73 of Batman, and I love something about seeing Batman on a horse. Huh? I mean, uh, we do have a really cool variant. It is a little hard to see due to the light affecting the glare, so... The glare, I mean, that's what I mean. The glare, never mind. <laughs> we have number 11. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay. Daughters of Liberty. The Daughters of Liberty. Okay. Well, number 11 of Captain America. Number 7 of Daredevil. Alright, we have number 14, and it's a, it's a tie into World of the Realms. We have number 14 of Deadpool. Oh, Deadpool. For big, big, big wheels. We have number seven of Firefly. I did not pick up the variant. I don't know why. Just trying to save a little money. This is a great cover. We have number six of Guardians of the Galaxy. We have number seven of Miles Morales Spider Man. <laughs> Burn, Nightwing, burn! We have number 61 of Nightwing. No variant for that one. I don't really worry about variants for that. We have 67 of Star Wars. This character is so cute, and I still have not... Number 33, and I still have not read issue 1. I don't think. No, I haven't. Star Wars Dr. Alpha number 33. Such a cute character. I, I, I really hope that they bring her to, I don't know, some type of adaption on screen. Because she's a cool character. I like her. I know some people don't like her because, I don't know, something about feminism or whatever. I never got that, but whatever. Uh, number three of Star Wars TIE Fighter. I really want to read that one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to skip ahead and check that out. I'm curious. I just have to put my comics in order. 
Ah, good luck doing that. Uh, number 13 of World of Realms, Tony Stark, Iron Man. That is the don't cover right there. Another World of Realms, we have number 5 of Journey into Mystery. I'm just getting them all, man. I'm just like, you know what? Screw it. Number three of Spider-Man and the, what? The League of Realms. Spider-Man. So, yeah, that's why I got it. This one, I'm not entirely sure if I've been collecting the other ones. I think I have. But if not, oh well. World of Realms War Scrolls number three. I think I mean, there's there's one I've not been collecting and I can't remember what it is. I hope it's not this one because otherwise this is just an issue that's gonna sit there without you know getting read. Uh, so that does that for week number three, aka Congo Call number twenty five. Now we're gonna move on to number twenty six. Which is week 4 of June. And I think I'll start with my sister's stack right here. Ah, ready. Now, the only bad thing about recording on OBS is I don't have a timer. Oh wait, yes I do. Do I? No, it doesn't say how long it's been uh, recording. Alright, so we, she has number two of Angel. Kinda, I know, the gloves. Yeah. Uh, ooh, what's this? It's funny, because like, when they pass out, they give us our comics, right? And she divides them. She gives them the ones that I read. She gives me the ones that I read, and she takes the ones that she reads. And I usually just don't notice the ones that she's sorting out and, and picking for herself. So, yeah, it's just weird. But anyway, we have number one of Superman, Le Leviathan Rising. And I didn't know that this was a thing. But whatever, Superman, you know how she is. Well, no, my sister, she loves. Superman. Uh, we have number 30, 13 of Black Panther. I, I'm, in, I'm confused about this because I thought I heard that she doesn't like some of the elements of the story, but she, yeah, she's still getting it, so, okay. Uh, so cool. Uh, number 6 of Major X, and if I'm not mistaken, I think this is the last one, but I'm not sure. Number 12 of Mr. and Mrs. X. Ooh. She then has number 1 of Wolverine Exit Wounds. Number 3 of Thanos. Number 3 of Uncanny X-Men from the War of the Realms series. So... Don't know if she's going to be able to follow that, because she's not going to read any of the other ones, the world around, so... Uh... I really need to... I... Am I doing anything today? I was going to stream, but... I think I'm going to try to read today. Alright, we have number one... No, how do I say this? I'm just going to say 10, 12. Um, Superman Action Comics. She then has a really wicked little variant. Simple, but effective, I would say. Number 73 of Wonder Woman. And it's a pretty cool variant. Number 12 of Justice League Dark. And, oh shit, Swamp Thing. Okay. Well, hopefully you get more love in the comic world than you do on your TV show, because that's gone. Number 73 of The Flash, Chapter 4, Year 1. 
These have been some of my favorite covers of recent memory. I like them. And the variants have been quite good as well. I got a catch up on the Flash, uh, the, the comic. I was actually staying current with it, but not for a while. Uh, we then had number three of Oz from Xenoscope. Here's one cover here. One cover right there. Oh, oh my. <laughs> Got uh, this cover right here. That's enchanting. And lastly, for her, she's got two or four, I think. Yeah, number two or four, Stranger Things 6. Not Stranger Things Part 6, but the storyline is about 6. So. Alright. And we're almost done. We get going to my stack right now. I don't know, got a lot to catch up on. It's insane. I'm trying to organize my stuff too. It's nuts. Alright. Yeah, put it on my lap. That's so cool. Oh my god. I love Punisher. Alright, we have number three of The Punisher, The War of the Realms. So badass. Number four of the comic that I know I shouldn't be collecting. I wonder if this is the one that I wasn't collecting. I don't. You know what? I'm gonna approach this one with just an open mind. Maybe I'll actually get a kick out of it. We have number four of the new. Agents of Atlas. I just, I don't know. I feel like that's one that I should have. The only one I recognize, honestly, is Silk. And I barely know of her. We are number 14 of Thor. War of, War of the Realms tie-in. That's cool. Alright, we have number 3 of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. I hope this is a good comic, because I know, obviously, you know, it's based on the attraction at Disneyland, so hopefully it's, uh, yeah. Alright, we have the one-shot, the Darth Vader one-shot, Age of Rebellion. We have that one right here. And I did get this particular variant, because I kind of seen, and it's just, I really like the way it's illustrated. Yes, 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 yes. They had... Another variant, but it was very simple. It was just, you know, white cover, um, and had an, a blue outline of Vader's helmet. Uh, yeah, I don't know, it was just, it didn't catch my eye. I don't know why I got this. It's an annual, and I'm like, you know what? Let's just, let's just get it. I, I almost said, no, thank you. But what the hell? I mean, it's an annual, and this should be a pretty funny comic. Um, so we have the Spider-Man annual, but what it really is, is Peter Parker in the Spectacular Spider-Man. <laughs> so, I hope I did okay with getting that. I mean, it's just an annual, so why the hell not? We then have number 8 of Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man. I really gotta read this to see if this is even worth collecting. Ooh, that's dope. Alright, so we have number 1006, You Failed This City. Ooh! Uh, we have Batman Detective Comics. Although, Comics is not on the actual printing here. That's interesting. Uh, anyway, Detective Comics. Batman Detective Comics. And it's pretty eerie uh, variant, which is kind of dope. I like it. I like it. We then had number 20 of Avengers World of Realms tie-in. Damn, that's some great illustration right there. That's amazing. 
number 24 of the Amazing Spider-Man. I don't know why I just jiggled that. Number six of War of the Realms. Wait, can you see? Uh, this whole part was cut off. I'm like, ah, yeah, that's good enough. No, there you go. Number, number, th no, don't fall. Why would you fall? The fine, the fine, the fine. <clears throat> the benefits of having them gagged and boarded. Number fifteen of Kickass. And I found the variant, and I was like, you know what? I like it. It looks like a really cool, really cool collective of some pretty interesting female characters. At least interesting looking. I haven't read this comic yet. And of course, I mean, obviously, obviously, you, you know what these are, I'm sure. Number three, the final part of something that just seem to have taken forever to complete three parts Batman down and this terrifying variant <laughs> so yes this is come to a close hooray um yeah let's not show that one they had a lot of these, so I know this one ain't gonna be worth shit. In fact, Renee over there even told me, because we were talking about issue number one, how we want to read it, but we don't want to touch it because it's only worth a little bit of money. So he suggested, uh, and, and somebody suggested this before, we get the digital copy of it, which we're probably going to do. Get the digital copy, read that, and then just read these other two, because they're not going to do it. There were so many of these, and I know that, I know that they they had copies of number two, so number one is the big deal, you know, because you got that, 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 that big deal inside, you know, Bruce Wayne's little big deal. <laughs> Alright, so that does it for this week, uh, or for this video. Um, I might, it might be another two weeks till I see you. You know how, you know how it goes. You know how I am. <laughs> anyway, if you have made it to this point, please give this a thumbs up. I would really greatly appreciate it. Uh, leave some comments down below, whatever you want to say. Is there anything that you picked up that I didn't? What is it? Uh, like I said, have a happy fourth. Have a happy holiday. Um... Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Of course, please follow my social media, Instagram, Twitter, very active on both. And of course, follow me on Twitch. I stream Monday to Thursday every week, uh, and sometimes during the weekend. And I can really use some new people watching me. It'd be really dope. Alright guys, never let anybody tell you the nah. Never let anyone tell you you're too old to collect comic books, because if they do, uh, Joker's going to come at them from the shadows and, and pay them a visit. Alright guys, I will see you when I see you. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Thanks for everything. Peace out.